so in this video we are going to play with the wind tool so you'll want to go down to your environment display and turn on the wind controller um, once it's on you should be able to see it and it has its own gizmo so you guys can play with that gizmo as far as moving it in whatever direction don't forget about the great number two you know all these tools two three four five is probably going to be pretty helpful to get that view up high. Um, also with this tool, you can move the wind direction. Let's see. Um, oops, well, there we go. I mean, there we go. You can turn that little blue thing is where it's going to blow. So I have it going just straight at the avatar for right now. You can decide how far and close. And of course, there's a whole window of different types of wind that you guys should have played around with by now. And um, anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and apply it. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, I'll say on, and I'll go ahead and do, I'm gonna get the number two, I suppose, for view. Let's see, and then I'm gonna turn and I'll hit spacebar. And here you go, it is now being applied. I'm gonna hit spacebar and I'm gonna turn it off. And I'll hit spacebar again because I wanna use that for my video I'm going to make. So once you're happy with the wind, you are gonna make a video for this assignment. So you will get out of simulation, you'll go to animation. Okay, refresher in animation. Um, we're gonna keep it simple, not super high quality render. I'm gonna get rid of this floor just so I don't need it in my animation. So let's see if I can find where that is. It says show grid ground or ground grid. We don't need that. Our shadow is kind of fun. I think I'll go ahead and leave that. And okay, so I have my wind all set up, by the way, just so you can double check. It was turned on and everything. So now I'm gonna go to animation. I'm gonna click animation. And it's really hard for me to see. It's making me crazy. So I'm on a Mac. If I hold option and click the green button, I can fit everything in my window. That was a huge mess for me. I was playing around with this. You probably don't have this. I'm going to delete it so I'm the same as you. Okay, so before we can actually record our recording, we have to like record an animation in Clo, and then once Clo has an animation, then we can record the animation. It's a little redundant, but it's just the way it goes. So, um, so I have to make an animation. So basically, you just click this button here on the left. Okay, and it's just taking a picture of each frame with the wind. Your video, like if I click right now, your video is gonna be like less than one second long. Um, so just kind of let it play out for a little while. It kind of looks like my anime, my wind turned off. Is my wind on? Oh, there it goes, yes it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna try to get it all the way to 100. Again, when we actually play this, this is just Chloe making each frame and it takes it a long time to save each frame. Um, this is actually saving it pretty quick. If we did a high render, it takes like a minute per frame, but it would be beautiful. But we're not doing that right now. We're just kind of learning um, and testing out some videos. Okay, so yeah, just wait till it gets to 100. And then when you're done, you will be able to record this animation that you built, I guess you could say. And if you're ever just anxious, you can always stop it early. That's always fine too. Okay, let's see what happens. If it hits 100, it'll stop automatically. Okay. Uh, oh, it's still going. Great. Okay. So just for learning, I'm going to go ahead and say stop right now. And then I can bring my little slider guy, right? I can slide him all the way back here. And we can hit play just to see what it looks like. So you can see this is a pretty short video. Only a couple seconds long, really. That's what it's going to look like. I'll just click this little thing and it starts over. I'm ready to go ahead and record this. So I'm going to go file, video capture, animation. And a new little screen pops up right here. And all I really have to do is just hit record. And there we go, it's recording it. It's telling me the time. So, so far only one second, two seconds. 
Okay, so I only have enough for three seconds. So I'll hit stop and I can watch my little three second recording I made. And then I'll hit uh, save if you like it. Okay, so wind demo animation video. I'm saving it. Okay, and that's how you make your video. Now you can take that and upload it to YouTube or do whatever it else you want to do. If you want to put it in another software and add more animation things to it, um, it's really good. So let's see if I remember where I saved it there and double click it. Voila, there's my, my video with the wind. Okay, so this is your assignment. Looking forward to seeing how it turns out.